We are all watching the forecast as we get closer to Wednesday's launch. Here's a live look now of SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket at Kennedy Space Center. Anticipation building around its next liftoff when it is expected to send astronauts to space. James Barbero joins us now live from KSC. And James, this mission has been years in the making. Since 2014, Ginger, three years after Space Shuttle retired when NASA selected SpaceX as one of its commercial crew partners, the astronauts Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley, they've each been to space twice. They've each been to the space station twice. But these friends of two decades have never been to space together until this mission. It's uh, probably a dream of every test pilot school student. At T minus zero, two astronauts experienced with manually flying a spaceship will begin an autopilot journey to the International Space Station. Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley are both space shuttle veterans. Hurley on board the orbiter's final flight in 2011. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. That spaceship was not designed with an abort system, and also unlike Dragon, shuttle's flight was not automated. Dragon doing everything on its own. Self capture confirmed. Demo 2 follows Demo 1, which was the uncrewed flight of Dragon to the space station in March 2019. We'll wake up about six hours prior to launch. This time, Hurley is designated as Dragon's commander for the launch, landing, and recovery, and Banken gets the responsibility of docking Dragon. See, they do have manual controls that they can engage if they need to, and they are going to test out the manual control of this spacecraft. Until the astronauts are on board the space station, where they're expected to join other astronauts there for a maximum of four months, contributing to science experiments. Ultimately, Bob and Doug get home with a ride back on Dragon, splashing down in the Atlantic Ocean, just as the autopilot mapped it out. The display screen they have is very simple. It's nothing like the shuttle that hovered over a thousand dials and switches. Space photographer Dr. Ken Kramer recorded Space Shuttle's final flight. <laughs> and he feels this mission will be just as dramatic as in 2011. Even though it's made to operate autonomously and the rocket is well proven, that doesn't mean it's 100% safe. No matter what anybody tells you, okay, your life's on a knife's edge. Ahead of what's planned to be another piloted Dragon mission later this year. This is the flight that proves the systems can work and work correctly. SpaceX will call that mission Crew-1, and it would have four astronauts on board. But back to the big mission right now, a new briefing expected tonight, 6 o'clock, from NASA, SpaceX, and the weather authorities. The weather, of course, becoming the big story ahead of the biggest American rocket launch in a decade. If it happens on time at 6 o'clock, we will bring it to you. Live at NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero getting results News 6. Fingers crossed for good weather. Thank you, James.